geologists claim that earthquake swarms reveal missing pieces of tectonic plate volcano puzzle. This is based on the findings from the University of Wollongong Geology and Reports. What we see here, the rare earthquake occurrences have recently been documented at the boundary between the Pacific Tectonic Plate and the Philippine Sea Plate. The earthquakes occur in a region that does not usually have any earthquakes, and these earthquakes represent fluids and magma moving from the subduction, subducted Pacific Plate to a magma chamber beneath explosive volcanoes. Rare earthquake occurrences have recently been documented at the boundary between the Pacific tectonic plates and the Philippines. Deep under the ocean bed, a sinking tectonic plate causes a swarm of earthquakes, quote unquote, feeding molten rock into newly forming volcanoes, new research discovers. These earthquake swarms are when a large number of earthquakes occur close together over a short period and researchers found two such swarms while studying the Mariana and Izu Bonin arc system in the Pacific Ocean. By plotting each earthquake swarm on a three-dimensional map, the researchers found the earthquakes to find a pipe-like -like structure through which the molten rock traveled rising from a sinking tectonic plate at depths of about 200 kilometers to the magma chamber underneath the volcano. The discovery solves a missing piece of the tectonic puzzle, revealing the path that fluids and molten rock move through the deep earth into volcanoes at the surface, of course. The international team included scientists from the University of Wollongong, UOW, Royal Holloway University of London, University of Cambridge, Australian National University, Columbia University of New York, Cardiff University, and Durham University. The Mariana and Izu Bonin arc system lies on the ocean bed stretching 2,800 kilometers from Japan, south to Guam and even beyond, it marks where the two tectonic plates, the Philippine Sea Plate and the Pacific Plate, meet. As the Pacific Plate subducts, sinking into the Earth's mantle, it carries with it water deep down into the Earth, water. The plates get hotter and experience and experiences more pressure in the, the deeper it goes until superheated water then rises to escape, causing the rock to fracture and melt and create a pathway for the molten rock to use. The lead author of this was Dr. Lloyd White from University of Wollongong School of Earth, Atmospheric and Life Science, described the process as a natural hydrofracking effect. He says, in fracking used by the petroleum industry, they drill into the earth up to a few kilometers depth and then continue to pump liquid down until the pressure goes and the rocks crack, creating a path for the petroleum or natural gas to flow through the rocks and into a pipe back to the surface. In this case, the tectonic plate carries the water down very deep to the earth, down to around 200 kilometers below the surface, and as the plate goes down, it gets hotter and the pressure gets higher driving water out of subductive plates. And she goes on to describe, it's ultimately the water that causes those slowly moving rocks to melt, as well as to cause these rare earthquakes. The water gets so hot and so uh, under is so much pressure that it needs to get away. As it moves upward, it causes the rocks to fracture and melt, forming magma. And that magma is what feeds the volcano at the top of the system. It's similar to fracking, but at a much grander scale and completely driven by Earth's natural processes, rather than being human-induced." Now, the two earthquake swarms occur deep in the Earth in a zone that does not usually have any earthquakes. This is the simplest explanation is 
they were caused by a process similar to fracking, either by the rock beneath a head of the superheated fluid, superheated fluid, or by the pipe collapsing after the fluid had moved through the system. Geologists have always assumed that the water in the system goes upwards, but we've never had a good way of imagining that. These examples of freak occurrence that we've stumbled on show very clearly where the water must be traveling, Dr. White said. The co-author, Dr. Dominique Tanner, also from University of Wollongong School of Art, Atmospheric and Life Sciences, said that we can actually see the earthquakes to figure out, we use the earthquakes to figure out how quickly these fluids travel. We know exactly when and where the earthquakes occur, so we can estimate how quickly the fluid moves through the earth, deep earth, which is faster than one kilometer an hour, much faster and we prevent than previously thought. While a lot of the research is, in, is, is very much needed, the discovery may help scientists monitor volcanoes uh, that are being primed with increased amounts of magma from the deep earth. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.